what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A former University of Cincinnati volleyball player is suing the school claiming she was kicked off the team because of photos she posted on Instagram her coach said was too sexy. 19-year-old Shalom Ifiani filed the lawsuit in federal court last week alleging racial and sex discrimination by the university and volleyball coach Molly Alvey. So what do you guys think about this? Do she have a leg to stand on here? Is her claim legitimate? Does the school, does specifically does the, the volleyball coach have the right to police what people post on Instagram? I'm thinking that you probably have to go to the school's bylaws. I'm sure it's something in there that says that you just can't be posting anything on social media. But who determines what's sexy and what's not? I mean, the posts that I saw were not sexy, but they also said that the posts that the coach asked her to remove were taken down. She took them down. So I don't know if Yanni alleged in the lawsuit that she was removed from the team because she did not fit the biased image of a UC volleyball player. No such requests were made to other members of the women's volleyball team who were of slighter build and lighter complexion despite photographs picturing them in outfits including but not limited to two-piece swimsuits, Ifiani said in a lawsuit. She also said that she deleted the photos because the coach asked her to, but she didn't feel it was right. So she feels violated. She feels like they're discriminating against her based on her race. That wouldn't be a surprise in America. But what do y'all think? Do y'all think that this is a classic case of discrimination? Maybe the coach is a little jealous. Maybe because she's cute. Coach don't like her figure or something. Maybe that was a way for the coach to get rid of her. Maybe they wanted her spot and they could get rid of her. Like... And they used the whole volleyball thing as an excuse. Maybe they wanted somebody else in that position. And here's the thing. She's, all, she's suing for punitive damages because she said that because they kicked her off the team, she's no longer able to play the 2018 to 2019 season at any other university and as a consequence she loses her scholarship so she can't go to school this year under scholarship under an athletic scholarship at least what i want to know is did she read the terms and restrictions of her scholarship because most universities expect a certain image portrayed by their students especially if you're in school on scholarship. Being in school on scholarship is kind of like flying buddy pads. You get no respect, unless, of course, you're one of those athletes that are bringing in millions of dollars for the school. Then you can do whatever you want. From what I've seen on the internet, she's a good-looking girl, but I need to see the pictures in question so that I can make a educated judgment. Yeah. You know, this social media gets so many people in trouble. There's only one thing bad about social media. The fact that it exists. No more talk. What the talking about?